The skyline of any great city is more than just a collection of buildings. It is a living testament to human ambition, faith, innovation, and power. Among the many shapes that define a city's silhouette, spires stand out as some of the most striking and enduring symbols. These tall, narrow, and often elegantly tapering structures reach upward, as if striving to touch the sky itself. Crafted from stone, steel, or glass, spires are far from accidental or purely decorative. They are intentional architectural gestures that blend art, symbolism, and engineering. For centuries across cultures and continents, spires have crowned cathedrals, palaces, towers, and skyscrapers alike, serving as visual beacons of spiritual aspiration, civic pride, and technological prowess. Have you ever wondered why certain buildings have spires on top? Their tips draw the eye upward, inspiring awe, yet their true purpose often remains unclear. So let's take a deep dive into the world of spires and uncover the stories they tell right here on History of Simple Things. The origins of the spire are deeply rooted in the religious architecture of medieval Europe. Cathedrals and churches during the Gothic period, most notably from the 12th to 16th centuries, began to reach upward with increasing ambition. Architects saw verticality as a symbol of divinity, a literal and metaphorical connection to the heavens. The spire was the architectural soul of a church, pointing believers toward salvation. Structures like Notre Dame de Paris or the Cologne Cathedral did not merely house worship, they embodied it. The soaring lines, the narrow form, and the dizzying height combined to create a visual pathway from earth to sky, an earthly echo of spiritual yearning. Beyond their symbolism, these early spires served a strategic role in urban visibility. In an age before skyscrapers or satellite navigation, the spire acted as a visual anchor. Pilgrims and travelers could see the towering steeple from miles away, guiding them toward the city center. In times of war or unrest, a tall spire could serve as a lookout point or a landmark for orientation. Even in peacetime, they asserted the dominance of the church or community that built them, reminding surrounding regions who held power, faith, and influence. As time passed, the spire migrated from sacred to secular structures. The Renaissance and Enlightenment periods brought with them a flourishing of architecture that reflected civic pride, scientific curiosity, and political authority. Clock towers in town squares, royal palaces, and government halls. Many were capped with spires, domes, or turrets that mimicked the spiritual architecture of old. But now, the message had shifted. These spires were no longer only about divine guidance. They were about cultural prestige, technological achievement, and the projection of state power. The spire became a universal symbol, adaptable to monarchs, merchants, and ministries alike. When the Industrial Age introduced steel frame construction and elevators, the race for verticality accelerated. Now, spires were not just decoration. They were part of a building's claim to greatness. The Chrysler Building spire, famously hidden and hoisted into place in secret, wasn't merely architectural, it was strategic. It allowed the building to surpass its rival and temporarily become the tallest in the world. From that moment on, spires played a crucial role in urban competition. They added measurable height without requiring occupiable floors, enabling buildings to climb the rankings of tallest in the world while retaining elegance and proportion. Modern spires also serve practical purposes. They stabilize skyscrapers against wind pressure by tapering mass toward the top. This helps reduce the wind load and prevents uncomfortable swaying at high altitudes. In addition, many spires now conceal telecommunications equipment. Antennas, signal boosters, lightning rods, and navigation beacons are hidden within their streamlined shells. Thus, what may appear to be a decorative finial is often a hub of digital connectivity, quietly linking the building to a networked global infrastructure. Psychologically, 
The presence of a spire influences how people experience a structure. The eye is naturally drawn upward along a vertical line, and a spire intensifies that motion. It elevates a building from passive to majestic. It tells the viewer that this place is meant to be seen, remembered, and even revered. It makes a statement of arrival in the skyline, a way of standing out not through mass, but through gesture. Whether Gothic or futuristic, stone or titanium, the spire whispers a single idea. This building points to something greater. Across cultures, spires manifest in unique forms yet share common themes. In Islamic architecture, minarets serve as both visual and auditory beacons, calling the faithful to prayer while piercing the sky with purpose. In Hindu temples, the shikara or vimana serves a similar vertical role, guiding the eye toward the sacred. Buddhist pagodas ascend in stacked layers that narrow upward, representing spiritual ascent. And in East Asia, curved slender towers, often elaborately tiled or carved, reflect harmony between nature, heaven, and man. Though shaped by different worldviews, these structures all employ the spire as a symbol of aspiration, sacredness, and identity. In the realm of urban design, spires help soften and sculpt the cityscape. Instead of a harsh cutoff at a flat rooftop, the spire provides visual resolution. It tapers the skyline into a coherent silhouette, creating focal points that give character to city panoramas. Think of London without Big Ben's tower or Moscow without the Kremlin's red spires. Without them, the city loses something essential, not just height, but soul. Architects today still use spires to harmonize buildings with their surroundings, to create upward movement, and to give the skyline rhythm. Ultimately, the spire persists because it satisfies something timeless within us. It speaks to our desire to reach, to surpass and to connect with forces larger than ourselves. Whether spiritual or secular, analog or digital, ancient or ultra-modern, the spire remains a beacon, pointing not only upward but forward. It reminds us that architecture is not merely about shelter, but about storytelling. And in that story, the spire is a bold, vertical sentence that declares, We are here, we have risen, and we still believe in the power of height to move hearts as well as minds. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.